today's tune is called Star of the County Down. It is such a beautiful tune. It's been used as a love song, it's been used as a hymn. You can play it as a march, you can play it as a waltz, and any which way you play it, it is gorgeous. If you want PDFs of the sheet music for today's tune, a variation, harmony, backup parts, and a chord chart, you can get that plus practice tracks at the link in the description. Let's go ahead and learn it. Oh, it's one of those lovely, mysterious, wistful, sad tunes, like every single Irish tune that exists. First off, let's figure out what key we're in because that's going to help us know where to place our fingers. We are in the key of E minor. So let's play an E minor scale. It starts with your first finger on the D string playing an E note. And we're gonna walk up from there. So we've got one, two, a, one, low two, three, and E. A nice sad scale. So satisfying for us tragic Irish people. Next, let's figure out the time signature that we're in. We're gonna be in 4-4 four, four time today. You can actually play this tune as a waltz in 3-4 time, but we're going to be learning it as a march. 4-4 four, four just means four quarter notes per measure. So we're going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Etc. Now we are going to learn the tune. As usual, we're going to do this by call and response, learning the tune by ear. So I'll play a small section and then you can play it back. I'll play each section a couple times so that you can try it out. If you don't get it the first couple times, no worries. You can always rewind and replay it and see if you can get it. So here we go, starting at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Here is the first phrase of the tune. It starts with your third finger on the D string playing a G note and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three. Here are the finger numbers. Three, two, one, 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 D, one, three, three, A. One more time. Moving on, here's the second phrase of the tune. It starts with your third finger on the D string, playing a G note, again. And it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers, 3A1, 1, A3, 1, D. Last time. The next phrase, believe it or not, is the same as the first phrase. What else is new in fiddle music? If you've been following my videos, you know that a lot of these tunes have these phrases that come back again and again and again and again, and again. So that first phrase, if we remember, it starts with your third finger on the D string, playing a G note, and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three. So we remember that phrase, but let's play it again. Here we go. Let's go on to the next phrase. This is gonna wrap up the first half of the tune. It starts on the third finger on the D string playing a G note. And it'll go like this. One, two, three. That phrase is the same as the second phrase. The only difference is the last note which is your first finger on the D. Let's play it again. All right, we have learned the first half of the tune. Let's try playing all the way through everything we've learned from the beginning. Starting with that third finger on the D string. One, two, three. All right. 
right, not too shabby. Let's move on and learn the second half of the tune. We are going to get a new theme right now at the beginning of this next part. So it starts with your first finger on the A string playing a B note, and it's going to go a little something like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers. One, three, one, one. A, three, A, A, A. Next part is going to sound very familiar. Starts with your third finger on the D string. One, two, three. review that once more. We are on the home stretch and everything that we're going to play from here out is something you already know. So this next phrase is going to start with your third finger on the D string. It'll go like this. One, two, three. Let's play it again, starting with that third finger on D. And the very last phrase of the tune, we also know this one. It starts with your third finger on the D string, and it'll go... It'll go a little something like this. One, two, three. Let's do that one more time. And that's the end of the tune. So we have now gone through the second half. So let's play that second half of the tune. Again, this starts with that new theme, the one that started with your first finger on the A string. Da, 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 da. So let's play from there to the end. One, two, three. Okay gang, nice work. Let's play all the way through the tune, starting from the top. I'll throw the sheet music up on the screen so you can follow along, get a little reminder of what we learned. So it starts with your third finger on the D string. One, two, three. We are now going to learn a fancy version of the tune. We're going to try three different things in this tune. We are going to add an ornament called a hammer-on, we are going to do a melodic variation, and we're going to add a fermata. First off, let's learn about hammer-ons. A hammer-on is a grace note ornament, and the idea of it is you have a principal note that you're playing, let's say your first finger on the D, but right before you play that note, you're going to play the note right below it as a very quick grace note. So that would be, this is your open D and then your first finger. But that open D is super quick. You can do that with other notes as well. Say you're playing your third finger. You can use your second finger as the grace note. We're going to throw this in right at the beginning of the tune. So where you play, two little pickup notes. Here you're going to do an open string hammer-on going to your first finger. So it's going to go open one. Here's how it'll sound in the tune. 
Did you catch that? You can do that every time that phrase comes around, which is a lot. You could also throw a hammer on in at this part of the tune. So when you play that third finger, play that second finger as a grace note right beforehand. So if we take that whole phrase, it's going to go like this. Hammer on. Hammer on. Okay, next thing we're going to do is a melodic variation. After we play the first line of the tune, here is where our melodic variation is going to come in. At first, nothing suspicious is happening. But then we are going to leap up here to your E string and play a little fancy melody. So it'll go. Those finger numbers are E, low two, E, three, one, A. Let's try that again. Then we go on with our lives. If you haven't had enough of hammer-ons, here is one more opportunity to use one. When you go and play that new phrase, let's try doing a third finger hammer-on. And in the last line of the tune is where the fermata comes in. A fermata, according to Google, is a pause of unspecified length on a note or rest. So that's what we're going to do. This is what it's going to sound like. So you're pausing on that open A and just follow your heart about how long you make that pause. And then you just continue on to the end. That is the entire variation. Let's try going all the way through it. I'm going to throw the sheet music up on the screen. I'm also going to let you know what we're doing as we go along, just so that we don't forget. Starting with that hammer on after our first couple pickup notes. One, two, three. Hammer on. And now if you want to, you can go back to the beginning of the video and watch that full arrangement of the tune that I played and play along because you know how to do the melody and the variation. All right, you guys, that does it for this month's video. If you want the accompanying sheet music and practice tracks for this tune and the variation and a harmony plus a chord chart, all kinds of good stuff. You can get that at the link in the description. You can also vote on a topic for a follow-up video about this tune. Your support for my music means so much, so thank you. Whether you are a subscriber on Patreon, just checking out the videos, any of that stuff, I am glad that you're here. I hope you all have a wonderful day, happy fiddling, and I will see you very soon. Bye!